Welcome to a special edition of Travels with My Dad. We're at the Museum of Ancient Seafaring in Mainz to see shipwrecks from the 4th century AD. They were discovered during the building of a Hilton Hotel in the winter of 1981-82, where there was probably once a pier directly in front of the city wall. In 1994, the Museum of Ancient Seafaring was opened in an old locomotive repair shop, later used as a market hall not far from the Roman theater. Featured within are a variety of ancient vessels, troop transporters, cargo vessels, patrol vessels, and merchant vessels. The most impressive life-size replica is this one of a late Roman troop ship, which carried a crew of 30 oarsmen and was almost 22 meters in length. Four of the five wrecks on display here were used to transport soldiers on the Rhine. Oak planks were secured with iron nails. Fleet soldiers were recruited from all parts of the Roman Empire and were often deployed far from home. Recruits had to change their birth name to a Roman one. After serving the fleet, usually between 26 to 28 years, they were granted Roman citizenship. Epitaphs of seafaring Romans portray a turbulent life at sea. Letters and other documents teach us about the daily life in Roman Navy, including the susceptibility of their superiors to bribery. Archaeological finds of wood are rare because organic materials in the ground are broken down by chemical and biological processes. Humid soil, marshes, and seawater have a low oxygen content, and once the oak is exposed to air, it starts to dry out, deform, and shrink. In order to prevent this, the preservation team cleans and then soaks the wood in artificial resin, which replaces the water. Then the wood is heated and it hardens. It's a long process that can take several years. Thanks for watching this special feature in Minds. See you next time on Travels with My Dad. Yeah.